my name is Nikki Nabavi. I'm a second year medical student and I'm a social media champion for Congress 2019 and today I'm going to be interviewing Derek Tracy. So Derek, could you please summarise for us um, the session that we've just had? So we had a session on social media and should clinicians and students and academics engage with social media, so whether it's Twitter or Instagram or blogging. And our take with this as a panel interview is yes, absolutely. And I think social media has lots of opportunities, it's got challenges too, but I think what was fascinating for me is I knew lots of the audience members there because we've been Twitter friends and it's a great way for, to network, it's to get to know other professionals, for I think trainees to get to know people higher up in the college to ask them questions for me. I love following different accounts like the King's Fund, Nuffield Trust. And in my clinical director role, it's an opportunity to engage with people in your service, so you can contact me directly. So, yes, I think it's a great thing to do, was the takeaway, but then a lot of the discussion was about potential negative aspects of social media. Okay, so what would you say as a clinician are your top tips for other psychiatrists on social media? I think know what you want your account to be. Is it a professional account or a personal account? Some people have what's called a blended account, which joins them together. I would be a little hesitant about that. Mine is a professional account, so it's about mental health related activities. I think make a decision. I think if you're working in a professional field, you just have to accept and recognize that people will look at what you do and they will be curious about your interests, and I tend to separate them. So I think that's the first thing I would do. I think there's a lot of heat on Twitter. I think we should engage in conversations. I think we should be talking about what makes us passionate about mental health, what we think we should be doing in it, and I think we should not shy away from conversations that are hard. But I think avoid fighting online. I think there's too much of that that happens. But, but I think be a positive advocate and, and find what's interesting and something. Yeah. And what about for students such as myself or trainees? Are there any separate tips that you would give? I think follow some of the key influencers within the uh, within the World College. So our president and our dean are fantastic and they're really good at engaging with students. And follow where some of the arguments go and some of the, see the debates that are happening. It's a great source for research, for activity to see, again, what's new in terms of service development or research that's coming out, and engage with the researchers. What's really nice now is this, this democratization of the space, so you don't have to wait till the end of a lecture to go talk to a professor. You can contact anyone. Lots of people are really keen and happy to engage, so call them out and say, hey, I'd like to know this, and I think it'd be surprised many people would respond really positively. Thank you. Thank you very much.